how is everybody doing out there today? It's 9.06 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5-9-2020. Let's go over to here first before I say anything about that Bitcoin website thing that said that Bitcoin would be dead. And where is that website now? Anyway, take a listen, take a look. What's coming from Apollo? Um, basically was the how can I put it what's coming and what has already been done two second speed the all in one sharding been done coming CBZ and the United Allied States I just talked to Steve a little while ago and he's, he's also stated this in the main telegram group that he is working hard to get CBZ um, and UAS to officially announce press releases and the website release for UAS coming fast this week hopefully um, because he wants to get that going before the pre-sale and the um, IEO especially the IEO gets going because the more you get out there the more credibility even though Apollo's got the credibility for two years you do the massive announcement from CBZ the MOA which is 20 million wallets um, using the gold standard currency in Zimbabwe hosted on Apollo's network and also the commodity exchange. So you get that announced. There's another entity from Zimbabwe announcing also too to help with this mass um, piece that's going into Zimbabwe. You get the uh, basically the website from the UAS telling you all the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, and location. Everything's going to be disclosed. How it's going to work? It's going to be massive. So that is good to just lock and load by the IEO time. Um, the pre-sale will probably come out shortly um, and that's going to give everybody an early entry saving price with my code and get that gold standard currency which can never go down in price it's just going to go up in price um, and that's pretty cool Apollo Fintex. so now you get into the market you have 263 billion almost 264 you've got 28 for the daily volume you can see it's trailing off just a little bit Okay, then you look at right now for the last 24 hours, Bitcoin is down 96.51. Every time the Bitcoin goes towards $10,000, it is pulling back. And that's because of profit taking. And the thing you got to understand here is that it's going to take massive input of volume. You're going to have to see this go up to 300 million to really start seeing this cook. Now, there's a lot of predictions of what's going to happen pretty soon. But right, right at the moment, 96.54 for BTC. ETH at 210, XRP at 21, almost 22 cents. And having draws near, here are the top three predictions. One of the ones that I had up here, which I accidentally X'd out right there at the beginning of the video, was the more realistic thought pattern. And that was 20,000 bucks for Bitcoin um, after the halving. And that's the thing. There may be even some down price of Bitcoin because of exchange dumping. Um, but what you're going to see is that in this coming few months towards the fall, you should see Bitcoin start to surge up that level. Some people are calling for 100,000. One guy, an analyst, is calling for 550,000 by August 2021. Does, in my opinion, does Bitcoin have a chance of going massively high? Yes, it does. Is it going to be in the near future? No. Is it going to be later this year? It's going to be maybe double. But is it going to go to 100,000? Uh, nah. Is it going to do 500,000 by next year? I don't think so. Do I see Bitcoin eventually doing 40, 50,000? Yes, I do. That's my opinion. Now, you've got, oh, that is that. that I X I X something else out. What did I X out? Okay, top tier crypto exchange uh, experiencing historic volume. Yeah, they are. Um, it's pushing and it's pushing. The Binance uh, CEO says he doesn't have a headquarters. 
There's one reason for that. From China. You do not feel secure in China with your business. You don't. You, even though he says he moved to Malta, Chinese will still you get my drift. They could try to play games with him. He has to be very careful. He has to basically stick away from the authorities if you get my drift. Because you got to be careful with China. Easy way to put that. Walt Disney stock rises 2% as Shanghai theme park is set to reopen. I got to say this. Would you feel comfortable going in theme parks, parks right now? Would you? Even with a mask? Have you seen the effect of where you've got somebody wearing a mask, a mask I should say, and the coughing that they do, and how far it goes past the mask? Goes right through it and right out. Um, and of course, that's some of the best ones out there. The end models can stop most of it, but for the ones that most people are wearing, shoot, out it goes. Be careful if you go out in the public. Close up, stay away. Stay six feet away. And I personally would just stay away. U.S. Senate proposes blockchain voting amid the corona virus lockdown. This is going to be the future. Apollo has voting on their platform already in the all-in-one. Download the wallet. You'll see all the all-in-one features on the left side. So anyway, that is the future for blockchain voting. You have California just announced just yesterday that they are opening up the U.S. election voting for California for U.S. mail. For November for the presidential election that when you hear that coming because of what's going on with corona and people not wanting to go to gathering closely this is needed but imagine if they had blockchain voting already established that would make it so much more efficient less fraud and I'm not saying mailing has fraud but you're gonna get people accusing it of fraud Trump loses he's gonna accuse it of fraud okay ETC you got to have an understanding of this. With blockchain, you don't have that issue. Nobody can claim it's a fraud. Get blockchain voting done. <laughs> okay, get it done. Bitcoin outlives first website that declared a dead back in 2010. No surprise about that. When you look at what's coming for Apollo, because most of my viewers right now, you want Apollo, you're going to get Apollo. Um, you're going to get the new IEE coin of the Apollo Fintech stable gold standard currency which is going to be a rush based on a actual goal that is mined and owned by Apollo uh, with a government entity that the government will be disclosed soon. Think about this. The Apollo FinTech future holds no FUD. Uh, you cannot have any FUD in, involved in it because what's coming shortly is Zimbabwe announcing you're going to have so much coming. Don't forget to use my ZHGWTZZ Knox Pro referral code to save on all, and I do mean all, of the, get that out of there, of all the fees of the social ecosystem and the KnoxVIP.com. You can also scan this QRC code. King dong. There's your code right there. All this information is down below in the description. And... The new United States flag. This, when you get all the details of the United Allied States and how it's going to grow with other lands around the world, how can that be? When you hear about the commonality of the gold standard currency hosted on Apollo's blockchain and these lands using Apollo's government features, which is available worldwide, because of Apollo's decentralized network with one to two speeds that everybody loves. Sharded network, yeah. Also, no forks, no 51% attacks. Apollo has it covered. And it's so exciting. There's no doubt about that. So with this coming week, with updates from Steve on everything for the pre-sale IEO, and also too, <clears throat> I clarify with them too, there's a lot of confusion out there for the eventual eventual airdrop down the road for Apollo holders. Steve is going to come up with the ratio figuring of that to be provided. Okay, it's not going to be 100%. Some people could think it was like 100%, 100%. No, it isn't. Um, you can't do that. Okay, it's going to be a ratio where they're going to come out with a good thing. And keep in mind, it's free. So don't complain no matter how much you get. Okay, it's free of a coin that's going to be going up in value. So, 
Bada bing. See all this too, by the way? All that has been fixed. Gone. Gone. Choo -choo. Fixed. 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 Yeah. All this done. Landscaping done. Yeah. See that guy right over there? My nephew. Kick butt doing everything that he should be doing and has kicked butt on it. So you got to see what I'll show you after picture after this coming week because we're doing more landscaping and some animal videos I've got. Of, I got bobcats, I got coyotes, I got so much more. Turkey vultures that will scare the hell out of you. They look like they're, um, how can I put it? When they're in the air coming over you, they look like dinosaurs. Everybody have a great one and exciting news coming.